Hey folks, so it's Hatton Irvin here from Irvin's Auto Search. Today I'm doing another one of my little uh, videos on how to, and I thought I would show you all about how to clean your car. So if you spill like a soft drink or ice cream or whatever on your car seats, I thought I'd go through a little bit of a trade secret and the process that I use to uh, get seats clean. All right, so what, I, so what I've got to do to get uh, spills on velour seats clean is you actually need to mix up a bit of a warm water mix in a bucket. And here's one I prepared earlier. Um, but what I've used is just regular old dishwash, not dishwash, what do you call this? Clothes washing detergent. And uh, this is the real secret product, good old Aussie Pino Clean. But what the one that you want is the hospital grade disinfectant antibacterial. Because when you clean your seats, you don't want them to start to smell real bad like a wet car later, and the antibacterial in that will kill any germs when you're cleaning the seats and prevent them from getting that nasty wet car smell. And what you'll end up with is a nice, you know, half or a third of a bucket full of water with your mixture of, you know, just a bit of a schlup of that and a schlup of this, and you'll end up with just a good warm mix of both detergent and uh, antibacterial, whatever this stuff does. Disinfectant. Anyway, let's get to the car and we'll take a look. Alrighty, so what I've got here is my other little bit of trade equipment. Um, is wet dry vacuum cleaner. These are not expensive anymore, but they are a must have if you are uh, got kids in the family in a car with velour seats. The wet dry vacuum cleaner is your friend and it will help you get the stains and stuff out of seats. So the great thing about these is that they can vacuum not only dirt and sand and stuff off the floor, but they can also vacuum liquid, uh, which is the key to getting these seats clean. So here we have a ute, which I bought just recently. Pretty good condition. Uh, but this, you know, this ute is nearly 20 years old, probably about 18 years old, just a good straight grandpa ute. Uh, but if you come and have a look there, Blake, and have a look at those seats, and you'll see there's a big nasty... So they've got like a, quite a black bit of a stain, just from sweat and all that over the years. But what we're going to do is attack that with our special stuff that we've made, it's on the passenger side, it's the same. And uh, we're going to give that a bit of a rub with our special secret blend, and see if we can't get this clean. So the trick is, get your bucket full of special stuff you just made up, Get it onto a bit of a cloth without making the seats crazy crazy wet just rub that in you'll get a nice even dampness right round so that you don't end up with splotchy finish you see i've colored that pretty well in i'll do the sides as well and don't be afraid to get your seats really quite wet because the vac will pull that pull that all out and then we get the vacuum cleaner going That looks like we've improved it quite a lot. It's hard to tell because it's still a bit damp. It'll be most obvious once it's clean. But what the trick is that you do it once, and it doesn't matter if it's ice cream, Coca-Cola, pretty much anything that yourself or your kids are going to spill all over your seats will come out using this process. Chewing gum is a bit more tricky. That might be another video I'll show you about chewing gum, but your general food items, peanut butter, you know, Big Macs, mayonnaise, all that stuff will come out using this process. And the trick is if it doesn't come out the first time, hit it again. And you'll find after a few goes, pretty much anything's going to disappear. So I think, what do you reckon Blake, have we got it? So that's kind of before, and that's after. So when that dries out, hopefully we'll find that the black kind of smudge that was there won't be there anymore. So next I'm going to have a go at this bit and see if we can get that clean as well. Anyway, if you've enjoyed my videos, hopefully you'll uh, keep me in mind when you need to replace your vehicle. And I um, don't mind sharing all this stuff with you so you can look after your car better. Anyway, catch you next time. Cheers. And there's the after picture. Once they're all dried out. It's come up pretty clean. Same on the other side. Virtually spotless. How you'd like them to be. So, good result.